First, I want to uh, welcome, as we all want to welcome, new members of the committee, uh, Senator Booker and Senator Harris. Uh, Senator Booker is unable to be with us today because of prior commitment, uh, but we uh, obviously extend a warm welcome to both of you and uh, look forward to working with each of you on issues that matter deeply to us and to the committee. And maybe I would have told uh, both of you when you were new members of the United States Senate, even if you weren't on this committee, as I tell most new members of the Senate, if there's anything you want to know about me or what I'm up to, just ask me and probably 99% of the time you'll get an answer. And if, you can't, if I can't answer you, I'll tell you why. I can't answer it. So I think if we can have that sort of communication and you feel free to talk to me uh, about the business of this committee or anything else that I'm involved in, feel free to do it. Uh, the committee did very good work, very productive last year from confirming a excellent Supreme Court justice, 12 circuit court judges, also enacting the Elder Abuse Prevention and Prosecution Act and passing the Kevin and Avanti Law. I look forward to working with all the members of this committee this year to continue to fill judicial vacancies and to pass good legislation that makes America safer and stronger. Turning now to today's agenda, we're considering a large number of nominees most of whom have been through the committee already. These nominees received hearings and committee votes last year, but they were not yet confirmed by the full Senate. When we adjourned in December, there were, would normally have been a unanimous consent agreement to disregard the rule that unconfirmed nominees would not be sent back to the White House. It happens that the minority allowed only some of the nominees to remain on the Senate calendar. Uh, obviously, then many nominees were sent back to the White House. Today, the committee has before it those nominees who were then renominated just lately by the White House because these nominees were renominated rather than simply carry over to this year. They must be considered by the committee again, even if their nominations had already been sent to the Senate floor. Uh, past chairman haven't required that these nominees appear before the whole committee for a hearing again, but I'm allowing, as been the practice in this committee, I believe under both Republicans and Democrats, that new members of the committee uh, would have an opportunity to submit questions for the record to any of the nominees that are on this list uh, if they'd like to have that chance to do so. So I've requested that they submit their questions by the close of business tomorrow. Uh, today, we'll vote to send to the full Senate nominations of one district court nominee, two U.S. attorney nominees, and two U.S. Marshal nominees. One of the U.S. Marshal nominees on the agenda today is Mr. Ted Kamachis for the Southern District of Iowa. I'm happy to support that nomination. He has a distinguished record of public service in Iowa. He be began his career as a police officer in the town of La Center, Minnesota, later Waterville, Minnesota, and then coming to my state to be with the Marshalltown, Iowa Police Department, where he served as an officer for nearly two decades. Mr. Chairman, he had a good start <laughs> until he ended up. Yeah. Obviously, that's yes, why. that's correct. I, uh, I hate to admit that, but <laughs> you can brag all you want to. <laughs> now, since 1988, he served as sheriff for Marshall County Sheriff's Office. He's been a member of the National Sheriff's Association since 89, State Sheriff's and Deputies Association since 88, as well as involvement with many other law enforcement organizations. Mr. Kamachis uh, has uh, received dozens of awards for a wider range of organizations throughout his distinguished career, and I believe that he'll make an excellent U.S. Marshal 
and urge all my colleagues to support his nomination. The minority has requested that we hold over the nominations this week, which is their right. So I'm going to read the names of these nominees, but we have enough people here so that when I'm done reading them, we'll follow the rules and they will be held over then. Elizabeth Branch, 11th Circuit, Kyle Duncan, 5th Circuit, David Strauss, 8th Circuit, uh, Anna Marie Axon, Northern District, Alabama, Stan Baker, Southern District, Georgia, Jeffer, Jeffrey Beaverstock, Southern District, Alabama, Lyles Burke, Northern District of Alabama, Thomas Farr, Eastern District, North Carolina, Charles Goodwin, Western District, Oklahoma, uh, Michael Juno, Western District, Louisiana, Matthew Kazmark, Northern District, Texas, Emily Marks, Middle District, Alabama, Terry Moore, Southern District, Alabama, Mark Norris, Western District, Tennessee, William Ray, Northern District of Georgia, A Eli Richardson, Middle District, Tennessee, Holly Teeter, District of Kansas, Brian Benchkowski, Assistant Attorney General, Criminal Division, Jeffrey Clark, Assistant Attorney General, Environment, and Natural Resources, Eric Dryban, uh, Assistant Attorney General, Civil Rights Di Divi uh, Division. 